Hello, YouTubers, and all those who happen to watch. Taking a break from playing Gears of War 2 to, you know, lay down some. Lay down something that, you know, for you guys who enjoy the Wii points and also enjoy the 360 points. Now, I'm already coming out with another episode already of It's Worth the 360 points that just, you know, I gotta save that and just upload it but for the next is it worth your 360 points and is it worth your Wii points I want you guys to do one thing for me now I usually don't like doing requests necessarily all the time because you know it's sort of like I like to build a suspense on what random game I'm going to put up next who's online oh um, long story short guys what games would you like to see be put up for a review for Is It Worth 360? I did get a couple requ a requests or two about the arcades, the new arcade games coming up. I am considering doing that. Uh, other games I'd like you guys to request as well as like, you know, anything on the virtual console already and ones I haven't already did because, you know, I don't like to revisit old stuff. Also, if you guys got any reviews you want to do for the show and you want me to put it into the show for like a new episode I will gladly do that for you I'll also give you credit give it I'll link I'll make sure relay to everybody to your channel and that'll be that for that so you know cuz I mean I take this I make that take the busy time out of my schedule to make sure everyone's happy with this you know not everyone's gonna go away without something cool out of the experience of watching it because you know it's this sh this show is made made by independent people, watched by independent people, enjoyed by independent people. I n I don't try to do anything you know over the top where I'm trying to get myself you know famous. I do it to basically make sure everybody you know gets honesty out of a show rather than biasedy. Because if I have a game I'm passionate about and I truly love a lot. It isn't fair for me just to say that I love the game so much all the time with the video. You know, that that's not even fair. That's not really a fair-sided way to look at it. I try to cover games I never truly, truly played and loved, but I played enough of it to get enough rough assessment of what the game feels like. Um, just like with the previous episode uh, with... Uh, I was actually going to make that a 360 episode, guys, but I decided I'm going to make that a Wii episode instead. That was totally intended to be a three, "Is it worth your 360 points?" episode seven, but it was going to—it just became 72. So that's that's that was yeah, that's what tells you about how I'm trying to work with things. You know, I'm trying to make it so that way both sides, the Wii and the 360 uh, sides of the fences, get something good going. Quite frankly, Sony, I like you guys with your uh, PSP, but I I don't really want to mess around with the PSP. You know, it's truly nothing. You know, I can really look at. Now, a lot of people going, "Well, I love the three, the PS3. It's an amazing system. You have no idea what you're talking about. You're out of line." You know, people could tell me that up and down, left and right, but where do you see a lot of titles that are actually you know not ported from the other systems as well? Like, can you tell me honestly, to the bottom of your hearts, other than short gameplay for a few of the games that are actually good, like, uh, voted good by a lot of people, how can you tell me that, you know, what can be good for this console? Because, yeah, again, this console, only thing that PS3 really does, the, you know, the Sony store, don't get me wrong, I buy stuff from the Sony store, but when inside the Sony store, they actually promoted something actually original aside from Echochrome or some other games a few others there's nothing there truly original for me to really truly cover I mean they're all classic great titles in their own but you know that's something I do not want to endeavor in so because a lot of people keep on requesting me to make is it worth your PSN points even though uh, credits or whatever you know a lot of people ask me to do that for a show they're like begging for that they want that because they think that you know the the older PS1 titles on the uh, marketplace for that is good. I might actually consider though. With that said, I might just like do straight up reviews for them. 
and suggest that they're cool or not. I'm not going to really do anything too promoted, big, and fancy about it. Because, you know, it's classic titles, don't get me wrong. Games are cool, but it's something I don't really want to uh, persuade into. Or pursue, rather. It's, you know, it's it's one of those type of things, you know, you got to really be into it to really do it. I mean, I really like the PS1. I really like Sony's, like, you know, PSP and all that. I, I just could not, I don't have the heart to do it. Plus, I, I don't truly have a lot of access to the PS3. My person that lives by me, because he, he got a part, she got an apartment. I'm going to say he, she'll kick my ass if I say he. Woo. Um, she got an apartment where, around where I live for a temporary job because she's like moving away so she basically moves here she drives 45 minutes up to you know up the gecko to go to go to her job so she goes and you know works for somewhere up in the big city so she basically has a Wii she let me try uh, uh, crystal defenders for a little while just so I could get the feel of the controllers and you know the nunchuck and the Wiimote get her used to it so that way I can review the show for that for the Wii version it wasn't truly that magical though personally it was good it was a cool thing that's why at the end of the a lot of people asked me like they were like um you said 360 did you mean to say that yeah actually yeah I, I honestly thought that it was worth more of a 360 points value than the actual Wii version Wii version it's lacking a lot of stuff versus the 360 version it's it's really blatantly obvious you know but um, other than that, guys, I just really want to sit down, you know, talk to you guys, and you know, get some questions answered and get some thoughts out of my brain. I'm going to be doing, you know, a lot of live shows too, so you know, it saves me recording footage and all that. So episodes like what is it? Episodes 74 and what else? 74. I had a brain fart there. 73 and onwards would, or so forth will be you know covered live it's not going to be recorded it's going to be live it's going to be somewhat recorded on the uh, blog TV but it's going to be live I want to do some of them live because I think it feels better with the interaction with people than actually recording it so that way too you know I can be goofy and loose collared with it as well because I, I feel like I'm a better person for you know interaction with people I can listen to their thoughts, I can distribute my thoughts, you can have a debate about it. Something very healthy, you know, to determine that final conclusion, is it worth your 360 points? So I, I love people when they uh, when they debate about it a little bit, they go, well, I disagree, because this sucked, that rocked, this sucked, that rocked. So, with that said, um, I'm asking you guys, what do you guys want to see more out of the show of, and, you know, drop me a line with that. Other than that, uh, take it easy guys and thank you guys so much for watching.